Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Adam Snyder, for those of you that don't know, I'm also known as the Homemade Entrepreneur, and one of the things that I do is I make money online. I also teach people how to do the exact same thing. So inside today's video, I'm going to show you how I consistently make thousands of dollars by just shopping at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to show you just a small kind of TJ Maxx haul and how I make money selling all my inventory on Amazon FBA. So if you're ready, I'm going to show you some of the items that I have bought and sold and made thousands of dollars on. So like I said, my name is Adam Snyder. I am the homemade entrepreneur. If you've never been to my channel and you want to learn more ways to make money online, make sure you click that subscribe button. Also click that notification bell and let's jump into the video. So you, you may have been wondering why I had a vacuum, okay, a handheld vacuum. I'm going to show you that in a little bit so just bear with me but here's one of the items I've found this is something I've talked about for years this play school Alfie toy has been selling extremely well for years not only in new condition in collectible condition as well so you're probably wondering well how much does this toy cost I buy it all the time at TJ Maxx for $29.99 you look right here at these pictures the person that created this listing bought it at Kohl's for $49.99. It's selling on Amazon, new condition right now, $243.99. You can see down here, even in used condition, $243. Yeah, that's probably a little bit high. Uh, used condition, you know, 154 is probably a little bit more reasonable. Um, and that one looks like it's sold. Okay, so sell these. If you find them, whether you find them at Goodwill, you find them at TJ Maxx, you find them at Marshalls, buy them because they will sell. Okay, I've sold a bunch of these. Here's another thing. Anytime you see this picture where it says Queen, you know, if you shop at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, you know that's how they label them. They put a big sticker on them. It says Queen, King, Quinn, Full, whatever. Okay, Ralph Lauren products sell extremely well. Okay, now obviously this uh, at 354,000 home and kitchen. Again, if you don't know what the rankings are, don't know how to read them, you know, watch some of my other videos. It will, they should explain it. But um, you can see here, uh, it's selling at a decent rate, especially for the the ranking that it has right now and for the price. Okay, for 74 you know dollars, not bad. Especially when I pick these up for, I think I picked this one up in Queen for 19.99. I think that was the clearance price. I think King was $24.95 or something like that. So there's money to be made in sheet sets. Bedding is okay, but it's big and bulky. So just be be uh, careful with that. Here's another thing, and here's just something I want to you know um, you know say is that some items, some sellers can and can't sell on Amazon. That's completely fine. I buy and sell these on Amazon FBA. That's where that's where I'm you know selling my inventory. You can sell it on eBay, you can sell it on Macari, you can sell it on Craigslist, on Facebook, wherever you want to, okay? But I use Amazon FBA because for me, for my business, it's just easier. So if you can't sell Nike products on Amazon, don't buy them, okay? Or just don't don't uh, try to sell them on Amazon, okay? Sell them somewhere else. Here's a product I sold. This color, they had a few other colors as well. They had this yellow one. I did not buy the yellow one because I, in my opinion, I don't think it would sell as well. I also had this green looking thing okay so the colors that i like to stick to would be these four right here four like main colors um but yeah very profitable usually you can pick up sweatshirts sweaters you know jackets stuff like that in the springtime that do extremely well if you hold them uh, but these ones i ended up picking up i think for 20 i think it was 24.99 something like that so i ended up making a decent amount of money wasn't like you know a huge profit but still not bad Here's another thing right here, uh, this uh, platinum flat iron, things like this. If you can't sell in beauty and personal care, obviously don't buy it. But things like this do extremely well. One of the reasons why is because from what I've noticed, a lot of the people that, that source inventory at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, you know, Home Goods, you know, those three stores, what I've noticed is most people don't buy the food, don't buy the beauty products, don't buy any of the personal care items. And I think the reason for that is because a lot of these you can't sell. Some of these you can. 
One thing that you can do if you are restricted from selling that brand is just go and try to buy it either from a wholesaler, from a distributor so that you can get an invoice and send it to Amazon or ask the company themselves if you can sell their products. Some people don't, some companies don't mind. Others, they're really weary on, you know, who sells their products, how long you've been selling, all that stuff. So just be careful with that as well. This is a fine. I didn't make a ton of money, but it was a great fine. Okay. So these were selling for 99 cents out of TJ Maxx. The reason why these I think were selling for 99 cents is because they had so many of them. They had boxes. So I honestly bought boxes, bought cases of these things. So I think I picked up, picked these up for, well, 99 cents. Uh, but I think I picked up like 70 or 80 of these things. Um, and they sell extremely well. Uh, was, so 1500 in sports and outdoors. The pro they sell really well. Problem is Amazon is usually on the listing because they are such a hot seller. Okay. I sold these, you know, long before, before Christmas even came about, you know, during Christmas and then I'm continuing to sell them after. So they still sell extremely well, but you just got to look out for those deals. Okay. Just because it doesn't have a clearance tag on it or it's not on sale. You know, pretty much everything at TJ Maxx or Marshalls is on sale. But, you know, if you are trying to make money, don't look at just the, the clearance items because honestly, everything can be profitable if you buy it at the right price. Even bought Everlast gloves. There's only one of these. They sold almost immediately. I ended up buying these for, I think, $7.99, $7.95, something like that. So it's a great deal. Uh, those end up going pretty quick. Um, and you can see right here, good ranking. Uh, and Amazon is selling those as well for $24.99. Bras and underwear. I've talked about this before. And no, I have not stopped. I continue to buy bras and underwear. Why? Is because they sell. You can find some great deals. Bali is one of the brands that TJ Maxx, Marshalls, they, they constantly um, get in stock. So that's one of the brands I'm always looking for. Another place you can find this exact brand is over at Ross, which is another discount store. Um, sometimes you really got to check their items, but you can make some great money on stuff like this. I know it's for, for a male, it's, it's somewhat uncomfortable going into the, the lingerie section for women and scanning with your phone. When I talk about scanning, for those of you that don't know, grab your phone, you get your, your Amazon FBA app, you get your FBA scan, you get, you know, something like that. Okay. Some type of scanning app that you use your camera, you scan a product, tells you, how much is it selling for on Amazon, what the ranking is, you know, if it's selling for new or used, all that stuff gives you your exact profit. The reason why I use that is because it makes it a whole lot easier to walk into a store, scan just every single barcode, and it tells you, okay, that's profitable, that's not, that is, that's not. You just pick up what is and move on. So again, sell really well. With sizes, I don't know the sizes very much. Okay, I'm not like a huge, you know, I don't you know really research this stuff. I should. But from what I can tell, is anything over a C, you should be good. Um, people with with bigger breasts, from what I from what I you know have researched, um, are willing to spend more money on a bra than than you know women with you know smaller breasts. So um, I know this isn't this isn't the channel about your know, breast size and all that, but just understand it's important that you understand a little bit about who you're selling to, and you know. Yeah, so that's enough of that. Underwear. The most common underwear that I sell and make a good amount of profit from, underwear like these, um, you know, some type of shapewear, thongs, g-strings, um, you know, I don't know all the names, but thongs and g-strings, they still sell, but they don't sell for as well, and their pricing is usually lower. Okay, you get them for about the same price over at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but the difference is to sell them on Amazon. For shapewear from, you know, people, what people call granny panties, those are usually selling for more than what a thong or a g-string would sell for. So just be, just be aware of that. Black, uh, black, um, nude, white are the three colors that most people will buy. You get into like, you know, dark, like a gray. It's, it, people buy those, but honestly, black, um, the nude and white are the ones most, most women buy. I don't know the reasoning behind it. But I just know that's what I sell. So, see right here, here they are. Um, oh, so he, so that's that's pretty much what I consider nude is that color, okay. soft towel, um, white, black, yeah. 
you get the picture. Another item, before we get to one of the best finds I've ever had, um, best single finds, was Nike backpacks. Um, this is a Jordan backpack, so if you are worried about selling Jordan products, you've never sold Jordan products, maybe sell it on eBay or Macari or Craigslist, Facebook, something like that, because honestly, you know, one of the biggest struggles that I have is buying Jordan products and selling them for the simple fact that you never know when somebody's going to file an inauthentic claim. And so that's one of the things you just want to be you know, cautious on. Um, you know, yes, I, I do buy these every once in a while, but I'm not, you know, flooding my store with Jordan brand products. OK, so just be just be careful if you sell anything like this. Uh, but, you know, the profit is there. The last thing. So this is one thing that I want to say now. Th this product, the toy, is something I continue to sell, and it's a great item. Love it. But one of the best finds, the best single finds I've ever found um, from just one item was this right here. They were selling it for $24.99, brand new, Dyson Trigger. Now, I know these things sell because I have one, okay? I know how much I paid for mine. Okay? So... I know how much they sell for. When I saw this for $24.99, I didn't even have to scan it. Why? Because I knew that if I could sell it on Amazon, which I can, okay, some people can't sell Dyson products. Okay, if you can't sell Dyson, don't stick it on Amazon because you can send it to Amazon, it's gonna sit there, and you will not be able to do anything with it. You're just gonna get charged your, your storage fees. So one thing that I did is I knew this thing will sell. Whether it sells on Amazon or not, I don't care. I can sell it on eBay. I could sell it on Craigslist, I could sell it on Facebook, I would hold it, I would keep it, I'd use it for myself, even though I have one. I don't have the same color, and mine's a older edition, but still, I know how much I paid for it, and I know they're profitable. So, one thing you want I want you to take away from this um, is that it doesn't matter what it is you're buying, what it is you can find at the store, it's always going to be profitable as long as you can buy it for the right price. So lastly, before I go, I just want to, you know, end this by saying that, you know, anything's profitable, okay? You need to understand what you can and can't sell. You need to have a plan. Number two, you need to have a plan where you are going to sell that exact item. Is it going to be Amazon? Is it going to be eBay? Is it going to be Craigslist? Maybe Facebook Marketplace? Maybe you're just going to, you know, do word of mouth and try to sell your stuff. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. Just try to sell all your products. One thing that I always struggled with is I'd walk into a store and I'd scan a lot of the same stuff. Don't do that. If you want to make money, you can, but you need to at least understand what you've been scanning before, what you've been buying, what's been profitable. If you have a plan, if you have a strategy going in, you should be more successful. You should be able to make more money and you'll be a lot more efficient. So hopefully this video, you know, kind of helped you out, opened your eyes onto what else is out there that is profitable? Because honestly, I actually I guarantee you haven't been looking into every single item in every single store and seeing if it's profitable. If you can sell it on Amazon, if you can sell it on eBay. If you haven't, you are missing out. You are leaving money at the store. Don't do that. Don't walk out of the store when there's still money to be made inside. So if you guys have any questions on how to make money, how to make money on Amazon FBA, even what is Amazon FBA, Make sure you comment in the comment section below. And also, if you pick if you picked up something that was just an extreme find, what was it? If it's something that you haven't been able to find, what was it? Okay. And I only say this because somebody recommended something to me inside a comment before. I looked and I found it, ended up making about $130, $140 off this one item just by one person's suggestion. So if you want to. Put it in the comment section below. Let me know what it is as long as you can't find it anymore. It's not something that you're currently selling. And I will see you guys on the next video.